Let's talk about Hunter Biden and his contempt of Congress. The first thing though we have to cover is what happened to Steve Bannon for the same thing. And then we'll talk about what happened to Hunter and then I'll give you my opinion. The U.S. Attorney's Office of the District of Columbia, which is Washington, D.C., announced on October 21st, 2022, Stephen Bannon was sentenced to four months of incarceration and ordered to pay $6,500. He was charged two counts of contempt of Congress stemming from his failure to comply with a subpoena issued by the House Select Committee. They were investigating the January 6th breach, they call it at this time period, of the U.S. Capitol. They didn't call it a riot or insurrection at this time. I don't believe they did because this article actually says breach. Well, it's an official statement from the U.S. government. Steve Bannon, who's 68 years old, was found guilty by a D.C. court and it was on July 22nd, 2022. It was in D.C. Of course he got convicted, right? One was for contempt of court related to his refusal to appear. The other was related to his refusal to supply documents to the House Selective Committee. They believed, the House Select Committee, believed that he had information about the January 6th riot, rally, insurrection. It's got many different definitions, but they thought Steve Bannon had information on it. The subpoena required him to come to the House Select Committee and bring in the documents. Bannon, as required by a subpoena, refused to go in and produce the documents and get in front of the committee. Steve Bannon, that was the chief strategist and counselor to President Trump, had left in 2017 uh, the Trump administration, and therefore he was a private citizen while this was going on, just like Hunter, who was indicted on contempt charges November 12th, 2021. The case was investigated by the FBI in the Washington field office. The case is being prosecuted from the Fraud, Public, Corruption, and Civil Rights Section of the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia. So that's what Steve Bannon went through for not showing up to uh, a congressional hearing. Let's talk about what Hunter is dealing with. Eventually, guys, I won't have to do so many clips, but obviously I'm making sure I'm very accurate and there's some things that I have to read from. Hunter Biden on Wednesday defiled a congressional subpoena to appear publicly for a deposition before the Republican investigators who have been digging into his business dealings. Again, he defied a congressional subpoena to appear in front of a private hearing. He insisted outside the Capitol that he would only appear by the following, and I'm gonna quote him, so forgive me. I want to make sure it's exactly accurate. Republicans do not want an open process where Americans can see their tactics, expose their baseless inquiry, or hear what I have to say. Biden said outside the Capitol in a rare public statement, what are they afraid of? I am here. Now he's saying I am here. Meanwhile, he's supposed to be in the Capitol testifying with the Republican committee investigating it. He's outside. Okay. Try to get, understand this. He's outside the Capitol saying, I am here. And it's like, Hunter, you're not there. You're outside the Capitol making a political statement. You're not inside what you're supposed to be doing. Again, what, uh, what did, uh, how did Joe Biden say it? Um, plausible deniability. I believe this is one of those cases that uh, the son is learning from the father. Comer and the representative Jim Jordan, Republican from Ohio, who leads the House Judiciary Committee, told reporters after Wednesday that they will begin looking into a contempt of Congress proceedings in the response to Hunter Biden's lack of cooperation. They advanced the charge to a full House vote just hours before the president's son sparked a momentary political frenzy appearing in the front row seat during part of the debate. Listen to this. If the gentle, if the gentle lady President wants to hear from James, Hunter Biden, we can hear from him right now, Mr. Chairman. Let's take a vote President, and hear from I'm Hunter speaking. Biden. What are, are you afraid of? To speak? Hold on, are you hold on, hold on. Order, why, why order, are order. Are women allowed to, allowed to speak, speak in here or no? Are, okay. are women allowed to speak in order. here or no? Because you keep interrupting me. I, I'll interrupt the you chairman. Keep interrupting. I don't know that he's a lady. I think but, that, uh, that Hunter Biden should be arrested right here, right now, and go straight to jail. Our nation 
is founded on the rule of come law. Come on, come on. And the premise come that on. the law applies equally to everyone, oh, no matter oh, what your last Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Um, point of order. It doesn't matter who you are. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Big's over Donald here. Donald Trump Jr. Over you know here. I told you. Uh, uh, state your point. Which yeah, my, my point of order is this. Are we going to continue on with with this blatant interruption? It, this this is absurd and inappropriate. I intend to give my statement. I don't intend to have anybody interrupt it. Uh, I'm not going to interrupt your statements. I think you should have decorum and courtesy and don't act like a bunch of nimrods. You just interrupted a woman. And, and that's five. You know, I got, I got we, permission. Can we I agree? Did, Everyone has Mr. five Chairman, minutes. Can we agree? Point, point of order again. The assertion that I interrupted was absolutely false. That's typical of the gentleman who spoke it. It's amazing that she has to be so triggered and blowing it out because of the interruptions of the Democrats when they sh she try to get her time. They get five minutes of, of speaking time without an interruption, but they keep interrupting because they don't want to hear it. They want to cover for Hunter Biden and they'll do it at any, oh, Adam Shift, Shifty Shift. Remember when the, um, all the Democrats, when they, when they were, um, I believe it was sh sanctioning him in, in Congress, they all like got up and did a singing kubaya. And they all gave him a hug and everything. He was caught lying. He was caught absolutely lying. But the Democrats, in, Nancy Pelosi and her Democrats, all were giving him a hug and singing and like congratulating him on getting sanctioned. It's gotten too crazy. We're seeing it all. We're talking about it now, like we are here. It's got to stop. I think you agree. This is William Weeding. Oh, you know what? I, I wanted to make one statement. I've got two interviews lined up for next week, so th those should be coming. I'm not going to say their names yet until you know I've got them in the can, meaning I've got them uh, edited and produced. But there's interviews coming in the near future, and many other things. And I appreciate your positive feedback. This is William Weeding from Mustang Medic. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Lots and lots of new links are on the website below. Um, we have all the social media. Uh, if you choose to want to support me and be able to do this full time, you can do that there too. And thank you also for all of your positive feedback. I've been still answering all the posts <laughs> and uh, plan to as long as I can stay up at night. You know, right now it's only about an hour, hour and a half of answering posts. So I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm dedicated for you. <laughs> um, Hunter Biden, and you know, where's Hunter? And he's complaining about that before. It's, we know where you are, Hunter, and we know what's going on. And you're getting, right now, you're getting a pass because you're the son of a president that's a Democrat. President, which I know you guys don't like hearing, President Joe Biden. Again, William Weeding signing off from Mustang Medic. Thank you for watching.